Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Happy late Thanksgiving. I've got a PSA. It's a 556 seven inch barrel. I've been anxious to give this a try. Just arrived yesterday. This is the shortest that I can find in a 223.556. PSA right now has these on sale for $249. Um, I'll have the link on my webpage. Anyway, I've got this on my SBR lower, so I'm able to put the, the vertical grip here on it with just a regular stock. I've got my SIG Romeo 8, which I did a review on. If you haven't watched that and you like SIG's Romeo line, you're going to love this thing. It's awesome. It's a beast. It withstood a huge torture test. Also, another thing here, I got this from PSA a while back. Man, been meaning to do a re review on it. An RTG, it's the grip. And as you can see here, it's got awesome texture. I absolutely love this grip. I'll have the link for that as well. PSA has these. I haven't been able to find them anywhere else. It's $14, and, and I love it. I plan on getting some more. Anyway, what I want to do here is put this through, you know, my, my typical routine. We want to get it zeroed in. We want to check accuracy. We'll reach out, you know, we'll do 100, we'll do 200, we'll do some rapid fire, and we'll run some different ammo through it, some steel case, see if we can get it to, to malfunction, jam, hang up, light primer strikes, anything like that. So what I want to do now is we're at 50 yards. I just want to get it zeroed, see what kind of groups we can get, and then we'll go to 100. Oh. So I'm testing out this PSA 7-inch barrel. I've been using some 55 grain full metal jacket to do the zero, and I'm having some real issues with accuracy. Pretty big spread can't uh, I can't get groups that I'm happy with so what I want to do here is quick run through a whole bunch of different ammos some heavier stuff some 75 grain 69 grain 77 grain and see what kind of groups we can get sight man this is the 55 grain just federal range ammo it's not too bad i was i was messing with the dial and dialing it in but you know i had had some solid groups then i went over here and i switched to the frontier the 62 grain Eh, not the best then i went to 75 grain that was really disappointing <laughs> <laughs> that was really disappointing. Probably the best group here was the IMI 69 grain. And that's that's pretty decent. I, I'm happy with that. Then I came down here and I was using PPU. And again, that's acceptable at, at 50 yards with a red dot. And then over here was the Hornady. And that's a 75 grain match. And that's not too bad either. Fired about 400 rounds. This is the Wolf after about 400 rounds. This is the PPU. That's actually really nice. That's a tight group. There's three shots right there, really nice. And then this is the IMI 69 grain. So here's our groups after about 400 rounds. That's great. That shows at least the capability and I think that's very acceptable.
Okay, so I got this Hancock Armory Concord muzzle brake that reduces recoil by 50%. And I know, you know, 556 five, really doesn't have any recoil. But when we start doing rapid fire with an echo trigger, it is going to get hard to hold it on target. So let's just take a quick look in slow mo and see, see what this looks like. <laughs> okay, as you can see from the slow-mo video, there's absolutely no recoil. Um, with that said, with a 5.56 with a 7-inch barrel, you've got some serious gases coming out. You can just, you can feel the concussion on your face and your chest. Um, yeah, I, I didn't get hit with anything. I definitely, with a short barrel like this, I would not fire it without eye protection. Not at all. And I would not have anybody standing on the sides of you. But man, I tell you, as far as recoil, I can't wait to try it with rapid fire because I don't think it's going to move. I mean, it had no recoil. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're going to love this. So out of all that ammo that I fired, match grade, Hornady, you know, IMI with a Sierra Match King. I'm thinking, man, I can't get a decent group to save my life other than with the Sierra Match King. And I don't want to do ammo dumps with that and just dump hundreds around. That's too expensive. You know, I've got to find something. And it was not liking 55 grain. Absolutely not liking it. Even the Hornady Match. So I, if you follow my videos, I always do steel cased, you know, cheap, affordable Tula. I got some 75 grain hollow point. <laughs> you got to check out these groups. <laughs> you know, a lot of you snub your nose at Tula, you know, just like Taurus. I mean, check out those this groups. one that I got with the IMI Sierra Match King. I mean, this was by far the way best group. I mean, check this out. Here was one group, and then I made an adjustment, and here's my second group. I mean, Tula, 75 grain hollow point, steel case, cheap ammo. That was what I was looking for. Now I can start having some fun at 100 and 200. I needed to get something like this, though, before we can go and start having some serious fun because I'm not going to hit crap with uh, these great big spreads. So, hey, there's one for Tula. Way to go, Tula. All right, so we finally found out what this thing likes. And of all things, guys, it loves Tula. I mean, for a lot of you, that's a dream come true. This thing loves the cheapest ammo that you can get. So let's see what we can do at 100 yards. So this is PSA's seven inch upper. I'll have a link on my webpage. If you haven't checked out our crazy stupid deals, you've got to check it out. Find some awesome deals on ammo. Just found some 308 Federal hunting rounds, 180 grain for $7.99 a box. Over here, these are my courses. This is what I do, I teach. These are online courses. 30 day money back guarantee. Check them out. Click on them. It shoots some them at the search engines. And if you know anybody that's interested in any of these, go ahead and forward on to it. Use the links. Also, check out my Amazon page. That's where I find the awesome deals on optics, some accessories. You know, Amazon isn't the most gun friendly in the world, but they do have some of the absolute 
best prices on optics and scopes. Now, I guess that's an optic and other accessories. Okay, I might be shouting because <laughs> I got earplugs in under the muffs and I can't hear anything, even with electronic, because this thing is loud. Before we go and do some rapid fire, I'm going to use some of the Tula and we're going to reach out here at 200 yards. You gotta, you gotta like that. I mean, that's just right on. Seven inch barrel with a one and seven twist. We're only getting one twist before it's leaving the barrel. So this Hancock Armory muzzle brake is super loud, but it does totally eliminate almost the recoil. Let's see how fast we can keep on target there at 200. I know I was hitting it at 200. Man, that's easy to, to keep on target. Okay, we moved up the distance. What I want to try is some different mags. I've got a Brownells, just a steel AR mag here. Awesome. Yeah, it's got a lot of flash. There's no recoil. I know I sound like a broken record, and it is loud, and there is a lot of flash, but man, you can just keep that on target. What I have here now is an IMI. I'm shooting 55 grain. Try another one. That is, that is fun. That is lead therapy. And I'm feeling really good right now. Here's, this is a pro mag. You know what, let's just, uh, let's switch, switch this over to echo mode. Oh, let's try it. That's fun! Wow! God, I love it. All right. Right now we're gonna try a Pro Mag 60 round drum. I'm blazing through the ammo. If an ammo company is watching this, you've gotta get a hold of me. I've been reaching out to everybody. Hornady, Federal, Arms Corps, Remington, PPU, you name it. Guys, I'm sending you emails. Respond. I need a sponsor. The ammo, the ammo is costing me a fortune. I'll give you a lot of good coverage. All right, here we go. Here's the PMAG drum. That is crazy fun. Okay, so I just went up to the house to reload the drum because <laughs> I mean, that, was, that was way too much fun. I wanna do some more videos. As soon as I walked into my house, my wife goes, is that legal? I said, yeah, yeah, it is. She said, you know, don't be surprised if the sheriff shows up here, honey. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors, I apologize. Apologize, guys. Um, you know, it's the middle of the day on a Monday, so hopefully, you know, nobody's outside and I'm not scaring anybody, but man, this is a lot of fun. Um, let's try a different angle here. And, you know, when it comes to mags and stuff, gun mag warehouse, that is where I find the best deals on mags.
Well guys, I gotta stop before the bill on the ammo just goes through the roof. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. If you haven't visited our webpage, check us out, like us on Facebook. And remember guys, gun control starts at home with you, me, educating our kids.